everyone, how are you all doing? So today we are going to be making one of my favorite Japanese dishes, udon noodles. And what I've done is soaked some udon noodles here, just in boiling water. And when I am ready to use, I will just strain them. Now let me let you into a little secret. So after Indian cuisine, of course, my favorite cuisine is Japanese. I love Japanese food. Okay, so I am switching my heat on on a high flame and I am going to add some sesame oil wok that's perfect and normally when you're cooking pan Asian foods in a pan the heat should be medium to high so it shouldn't be on a low heat what I'm also going to add to my sesame oil just give that a few seconds um, is going to be some chopped garlic so what i've done is i've done all my mise en place i've done all my prep i've chopped the veg um i had some chinese mushroom here um that i'm going to be using you don't have to use you know shiitake or oyster um mushrooms it's up to you if you want to use mushrooms you can um but it's what veg you like you can put in so some garlic in what i've also done is got some mange too and some baby corn and I just lightly blanch those so once in water literally a minute so just to soften them and you don't want to soften them too much because you like that um, nice crunchy veg in with noodles okay so what I'm going to do is go straight in with my mushrooms and just give that a mix I'm also going to go in at this stage with my ginger powder so I've added fresh chopped garlic. Now, traditionally in udon noodles, you're supposed to add pickled ginger. I'm not a huge fan of it. My dad loves the stuff. So I've opted to add um, ginger powder instead. Now again, it's preference. If you want to go ahead and add the pickled ginger, then you can. Uh, I'm also going to go in at this point with some pak choy. And what I've done is just roughly chop my pak choy. So you just go in with that. And this doesn't, uh, the pak choy doesn't need much cooking at all. Now this is like one of my go-to dishes because it's so easy just to cook up, especially if your prep is done. So what you can do is do the prep like a night before and then leave it in the refrigerator. And then you're ready to get lunch sorted in no time the next day. I'm also going to go in with my spring onions which I've just roughly chopped as well. So it gives that a mix. And my mushrooms are already cooking so far. Pak choy doesn't need that much cooking anyhow. So I'm going to go straight in with my mixed veg of mange too and green beans. And my heat is still on quite a high intensity. Just mix that all together. Okay, and I'm also going to go in at this stage with some soya sauce so it's all in like this and as you are putting soya sauce you go easy on the salt that you're going to be adding for seasoning so you, you can just taste beforehand um, also in this you add some mild curry powder so that goes in as well so everything is relatively quick 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 in this dish all right just mix that curry powder in Smells good, that's what I can tell you. Uh, I'm also going to go in with some fresh chopped coriander. Now this is my own little twist on udon noodles. You don't have to add fresh coriander. I just do because I just love coriander. And one of my secrets to this dish is adding, don't tell anyone, sriracha. Just a touch of sriracha, which is gonna give you that full, delicious, Chicka chili flavour. I mean, if you want this even hotter, by all means, go and chop up a hurry much a green chili in there. Okay, I'm also going to go in with some black sesame seeds like this. I'm going to leave a few for garnish because you can garnish from the top and have them in that way. Raw, that's absolutely fine. See, look at that. Look at that. So delicious already. Right, give that one more mix. But what I am going to do is it does need a little touch of salt more. 
even with that soya sauce. Oh, that's the right stuff. Good. Yum, yum. Really, really nice. That. Right, what I'm going to go ahead and do is just quickly strain my udon noodles. Okay, so udon noodles ready to go straight in. Ready? Okay. And they are nice and separated. So the key is when you get them out of the pack, put them into some boiling water. And then don't try and break them with a spoon, just lightly. Obviously wait for the water not to be so boiling, but I say about two, three minutes later, just try to break them apart with your hands. And that's what you want to do. Guys, look at this. This is so yummy. MG, that looks so good. All I need to add to this now is some black pepper or white pepper but let's put some black in here <gasps> i was just about to taste that so black pepper okay so black pepper on the top like this it's quite cool my little toy you like that right give that this doesn't from this point onwards this takes no time at all you're just literally waiting for the noodles <gasps> to heat through this looks so yeah you know it is my favorite so when I go to a Japanese restaurant or a Pan-Asian restaurant, and if they have udon on the menu, that is what I will opt for because I love it. You can also add like other veg that I haven't added to this. If you want, you know, carrots, you can add carrots. You can add some bean sprouts to this. Literally anything and everything. If you wanted to add some chicken, have a nice chicken udon, prawns, yum, so good look at that right there is one thing left for me to do just one thing can you guess what that might be righty okay right this is the exciting part those mushrooms have cooked perfectly the baby corn in there yum yum pak choy there's just all the good veg all right just a little bit of salt that's it literally some salt and that is perfect guys this is so so good so yummy and it's been on a medium to high heat all the way through my noodles are perfectly cooked, heated. You can even taste that coriander, those black sesame seeds, just perfect. Right, switch off the heat. Show you all a close up. And a good song to go with it too. Right guys, that is my udon done. I hope you have enjoyed that recipe. I'll see you next time for another recipe. In the meanwhile, stay safe and stay healthy. See you soon. Bye-bye.